Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and it's warming up outside. It's almost time for my outdoor garden to be able to be planted. So I'm going to start my seeds indoors when it's a little warmer in the house and I also have a heat mat and my summer crop plants don't sprout very well below 80 degrees. So I like to use these little park seed biodome units. As you can see, they have a nice little cover on top you can control the humidity with these little vents on the top and I really like how they're designed with a floating raft tray. The way this works is you put your either rapid rooter or biodome park seed biodegradable plugs into the holes of the tray and then there you put water in the bottom of the tray and it allows the the tray to float like a floating raft tray over the water and that way when the roots of your plants develop through the bio sponge they'll come out the bottom and it makes it very easy to transplant into your garden and one thing I like about this particular size unit they have three different sizes they've got a 60 cell unit they have a 40 cell unit and this is an 18 cell unit and one thing I like about this 18 cell unit is the fact that I can also use the rapid rooter plugs in them. They're slightly smaller, so they go down a little bit deeper, but you just push them down to the bottom, and as you can see, they just go right to the edge of the bottom of the tray where they'll hit the water, and the water will keep them hydrated as your seeds are sprouting. So one thing that I discover, even though the, the plugs typically come, hydrated, a little bit of damp in the bag. Over time they do dry out over the winter. So when I start my my trays, I'll check if my sponges are dry and I'll just soak them in this little tub of water. I'm going to soak them probably for a few minutes here because these guys are, are drying out. And I'll get them nicely, like a little, they're like little sponges and so once they uh, once they are damp like they should be, then you'll be able to put them right in the tray and plant the seeds. Now that I have my bio sponges in the park seed biodome unit, I am ready to plant my seeds. So our family really likes squash, plus it's one of the best crops for our elevation, 7,500 feet. We only have about four months of the year that we can grow without the concern of frost or snow. So I'm going to try the summer squash and winter squash and see how they do in the garden beds. And uh, seems like we have good crops every year because they go to full term and produce before the, the first frost. They do really well. All right, now that I have everything all seeded and ready to sprout, I'm going to go ahead and add some more water to the tray. Get this uh, raft floating up. There, now I can see the, the raft is floating with these bigger biodome sponges. It takes a little bit more water to get it to float, but that's what's so nice about this unit. Those sponges are so large and really works really well for these bigger, bigger plants, bigger seeds. You can see how it floats nicely in here. And now we'll go ahead and put the uh, biodome lid on it. All right. Just set the humidity vent just to vent just a little bit. There we go. And I have this on a heat mat. This is a Millard heat mat. It's um, just about the right size for these units. I've got a temperature probe to, that goes down below the shelving unit to a thermostat controller that keeps the temperatures between 77 and 80 degrees. And we should start seeing sprouts in a few days. Well, it's been three days and let's check on our new starts our seeds look at that 
they're sprouting up in this nice biodome unit. As you can see, there's been nice humidity in there and it's been keeping it right about 80 degrees. Those heat mats are working really well. And the sprouts are starting to come up. I'm going to leave them in here a little bit longer. And then once they get a little bit taller, we'll remove the lid so that they'll have room to leaf out a little bit more before I put them in the garden. But this is impressive. Looks like quite a few of the seeds are, are sprouting up. It has now been a week and a half since we started these from seed. And I put them in this bin about five days after they had sprouted up in the biodome trays with the heat mats. And they're inside this bin with uh, LED lights on the roof, which help to also heat up the bin. And I've got this clamp light providing daylight spectrum lighting as well. This supplemental light really helps these guys grow. So they've all sprouted up here. Even the little guy here that was a little slow in coming up, even it's starting to come up now, as you can see there. And this little guy has sprouted up. So I pretty much had a 100% sprout rate with these biodomes and the heat mat. And um, of course, putting them in this little box to let them grow up before I put them in the garden has given them more room. And of course, this is, keeps around 78 degrees with uh, the little LED lights. And I do cover this bin as well. I do have it kind of braced up on the side here so that I can put my clamp light on the edge and not have the lids rest on the clamp light. Especially you don't want to do that when you got LED lights running along the top of the lid. So that's pretty much how I designed this little unit with the little clamp light off the side. I have these little clamps I got at Home Depot. Just kind of brace them, bracing the lid up. And then I put a little blanket over the top and cover the unit to keep the heat in. And so that's how I heat this unit. I don't even need heat mats with the LED lights. As long as I cover the bin, it keeps right around 78 degrees. So anyway, uh, that's how the squash is looking here a week and a half since I started them from seed. And I think they're ready to go into the garden. Well, here are the eight foot beds that I've designed for growing squash. So you can see they're three feet wide and eight feet long. I have a little watering grid up above. And I plant these uh, plants about a foot, foot and a half apart. So I'll put four plants in this eight foot bed. So that'll give them plenty of room to grow. So you can see how my, my setup is done now. First thing I'm gonna do, I when I uh, set up my beds in the fall, I put a huge layer of manure over top. It's about, uh, about three inches or so of manure. And, um, and that will cover up the bed nicely, kind of eliminate a lot of the weeds if you pull the weeds out ahead of time and it just kind of provides a little bit of a weed barrier. It also works as a mulch. So by the spring it's all worked in and it's a really nice little mulch. It's easy to, to dig in and we'll go ahead and plant our first plant here. All I have to do is just kind of dig a little hole here through the, uh, the layer of manure mulch and get down to the soil. There, nice soil right there. And I'll put my first plant in this corner right here. Well, here you can see my first squash that I pulled out of the biodome. And you can see the roots have come through nicely in this little sponge-like biodegradable material. So it's going to be easy to plant in this hole right here. So I'm going to put this down in here and I'm going to plant a little bit of the soil around the base of the stem to kind of give it some support. So it's just by patting around the base gives it a little bit more support to help it against the winds we get up here. Because it, it's just a little seedling and so it doesn't have a lot of strength when you first take them out. But if they grow up like I let these guys grow up, you have a little bit of stem that you can cover to kind of give it support. 
All right, well, here are the squashes. The smaller ones are there. Here you can see the squashes are nicely planted in the beds. Four for each eight foot bed. About a foot and a half distance apart. And I'm gonna keep them watered over the next few days. You wanna water them every day when you got little, little seedling plants like this until those roots get established well into the ground and then you can do some deeper watering. Well here you can see the zucchinis are getting pretty good size. These things can get pretty big and when they get this big usually the skin will get a little bit tough but you can still peel it the skin off and the core of the zucchini is still very soft. Great for zucchini bread and soups and all kinds of things. Well, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com.